Right, so uh, this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well a Gemini Rising weekly general tarot reading, uh, April 20th to April 26th, 2020. And in case uh, any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. And as well, if you uh, want to start reading tarot cards and you like the way I do it, I'm offering a, a six weeks online live tarot classes in which uh, in the beginner's course, I'm going to explain you uh, the major arcana and their, their interpretation in terms of career, in terms of relationship, in a positive and in a negative way and how they sit in generally into the dedicated spread I'm, I'm using, which is a major arcana only friendly spread. So you can at the end of the course you are set to do your own readings so uh, that being said uh, the uh, first card which starts uh, which marks excuse me the um, topic and the theme of your week is going to be the wheel of fortune followed by the next one here which represents the guide uh, the uh, energies which are supporting and feeding the topic that will be the energies of the king of cups moving next we do have the challenges that uh, you will have to overcome. That is to be the challenge of the judgment. And now the things are getting really, really serious here because uh, those three cards are pointing that you have laid down the predisposition for your stir. OK, so to stir your life, your career, your relationship. But because we do have the judgment, you may miss the alignment. OK, but we are going to get there in a few minutes when I start explaining the cards one by one. So next one, it is going to be the gift and the blessing for you. And that will be the gift and the blessing of the Ace of Swords. Now, this is a, a bit promising here. That is highly unlikely for you to miss it. But still, because it's in a challenge, who knows? Then we do have the impression that you are going to uh, incorporate into the people around. That will be the impression of the Queen of Cups or, or the Queen of Pentacles. I'm sorry. And the final one here, it is the guidance that it is the star card. So a big one as well. All right. Uh, what we do have here with the first couple of cards, let's start with the energy. So the energies of the King of, of uh, Cups are energies which are making one individual and the environment of one individual, first and foremost, a very, very balanced in a sense of the things are happening almost exactly the way that they are supposed to happen in a sense of that they are happening with the reciprocal result or results to a previous decisions or actions incorporated into your endeavors. So that being said, you work to stabilize your marriage. You are going to see a result into this direction or into that direction. You are working to solidify your job. That is the um, that is the result that you're going to start seeing even more king of cups as an energy attracts right it attracts a impressions um it may not attract love for example but it does attract an impression for a love that is just for example what i mean it is that some of that matters not that those are irrelevant but those that matters in your life they are going to be impressed by your performance and therefore, depending on what kind of a situation you are, either someone very significant will offer you a help or they will make an offer in general, like an offer for a job, like an offer for a promotion, like an offer for a relationship, for example. OK, that is because you have worked to find yourself that way. And now throughout this week, the um, it's just because we do have the wheel of fortune on a uh, topic itself. It means that the hard work, hard labor that you have incorporated, it's now over. You've done the hard part, okay? And now everything has has been unblocked with the Wheel of Fortune. And that card manifests, can manifest everywhere. I'm explaining it to my classes as well. And usually signifies in career A as a, a huge dynamic. It is just orders are coming in constantly and many of them are giving you the ability to just stir and unblock your um your situation offers for a job as well starts to come by if you apply if you have been applying for them uh, however 
because that is what the energies are pointing to. And the Wheel of Fortune points that one of those things that comes your way based on your previous uh, actions and previous labor, it will be once in a lifetime opportunity to make a, a significant change into one's life, maybe the most significant change that you have ever going to be able to make. Uh, you got to take as a Wheel of Fortune as a bird, all right, that that is kind of like landing only once upon one's shoulder for the specific enterprise okay for a for example career you have been offered an, an awesome job and you are to be offered that job once in a lifetime and you gotta take it okay so do not shy away from what the universe offers to you it's it's what i am trying to say here into uh with those two cards for the very reason that you simply deserve it okay it's it's just you simply has to be happy or has to be successful that uh, according to that enterprise though okay because that is very specific niche that we do have here with the king of cups that is something you have um been struggling up until now and now it's set into stern out now it is given to you the opportunity to manifest not to manifest it exactly what well, it's going to be manifested but the will of fortune gives you the open to, to opportunity to skyrocket it if you will to propel yourself forward in it uh faster than you could have done that beforehand up until now for the reason being is that you are to be offered the helping hand or the offer you need in order to do so so that leads us to the uh, challenges that you have to overcome. And I said, you may miss the chance. And that is what the judgment says as a challenge. Because the judgment is about the alignment of the circumstances. Okay, you have a wake up call. But the thing is, because it's in a challenging position, that wake up call is going to be muffled. It's going to be almost silent for everybody for you is going to be like a whisper. I'm just speaking figuratively here. And that is the call you need to answer. So what I mean, it is that it will be some sort of a, a random event seemingly that are happening, but these events are giving you the opening and you need to have the uh, uh, readiness for action and awareness that that is your time, that is your moment and you got to get a grip on it. Because the judgment uh, represents that, you know, there will be that small window of, of opportunity where the conditions are going to be just right, which is the opportunity, which is the offer or the helping hand that comes around. And even more, the King of Cups says that that helping hand or that offer, there is no need for you at all to deny it because once again, you deserve it. OK, and the only thing that can deprive you of it, it's pride, insecurity, hesitance. You know, uh, which I mean, uh, kind of like um, indecisiveness, right? Or what my manager likes to say, uh, that's uh, my manager often in the past, you know, uh, repeated to me many, many times. I am, uh, I suspect that you believe that you do not deserve success. And maybe she's, she was right. Okay, maybe she was right. Who knows? But um, that could be also a, a thing that you think that you may think that you are below it, that it's it's something way too good to be true, that you don't deserve it, if you will. And that will be the wrong mindset here. You do deserve it. You do work for it. And you just have to take advantage of the opportunity that it is given to you throughout the week. Um, the gifts and the blessings, it is the Ace of Swords. So as a gift and a blessing, this week is going to uh, gift you with a very strong spirit, meaning that, uh, well, I would say that way you're going to show strength through spirit and therefore you will not be able to deny the truth, uh, which may be a bit rough at the start, but in the long run, once you are able to place the accurate uh, awareness and diagnosis over what is this, you know, that opening here that you do have, and regardless what kind of an impact that may have upon individuals that have no, how can I say it, they don't take any place in your life at all, and you disregard that, and you take the opportunity, all right, and do what it is needed, then the Ace of uh, Swords, as with any Aces, gifting ones, uh, is gifting one with a breakthrough, right? But the breakthrough through the um, Ace of Swords comes through, once again, mental awareness, uh, 
accepting and not denying or ignoring the truth for what and where you are finding yourself at and most um, most over what you have to do in order to overcome your situation even if that is not liked by everybody all right and uh, then you will need to have the guts and the balls to take the appropriate actions and you are to be gifted with that guts and balls like i said you're going to show strength through spirit uh, moving next, uh, we are having the impression of the people around. So, first of all, people are going to see you somewhat selfish. That is very uh, common with the Queen of Pentacles because she is identified as a very self-absorbed person. Someone who, um, it's not like she does not care for the rest, but mainly she does care for her own well-being first and foremost. And uh, the other way how people are going to um, kind of like... Uh, um, have a understanding of you or rather like how they are going to see you it is that you are trying to develop your life to its maximum extent that you are not leaving things unattended you are not leaving stones unturned all right and you're not leaving opportunities undeveloped this is how people are gonna look at you and you are by far going to earn their respect because the queen of pentacles its ultimate her ultimate goal at the end is to establish a domain and this is what people are gonna uh, what kind of impression people are gonna have on you that you are striving for establishing a solid domain for you and your family for you and your career for you and your partner so you are gonna earn the respect for example if you don't have it up until now or that respect is going to be um, amplified and not just only respect but as well trust which is very important especially if we're talking about relationships here uh, in gemini that you're gonna not just only earn it but amplify it because for example with this card your partner will look at you and with other cards here will look at will see you or look at you and will see someone who is trying to make the relationship better or to stabilize it with any given opportunity and this is what they are going to memorize okay that you fight for it with any given opportunity and that may reverse opinions okay that may change perspectives that may change uh, in generally standpoints and if it's what you need that's your week and the last one it is the guidance that tarot is offering that is the star card it's, there is only one word how i can um, or a sentence i would say how i can classify it do not give up whatever it takes because the star card here points that you have to keep your ideals high meaning you do not make compromise with yourself you want your relationship to end up with marriage for example marriage is what you go for you want your career to end up in being successful or successfully uh, getting pension into one into one career path this is what you go for because the star card points that right now you gotta with this opening you have you should not shy away from making big plans for you for the future because those plans are exactly what are going to define your future and, uh, and what the future in generally holds and as we um uh, and as i like to say the star also marks uh, an end of an era of struggle of a turmoil and once you make those plans you will see that your future is not as bad as you thought it is as a matter of fact as a matter of fact your future is going to be so bright that uh, it may glare uh, it may glare your sight okay so the life is going to for you gemini is going to become way more colorful um uh, dappled with so much more color throughout this week so that being said, that was your weekly general tarot reading, Gemini. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. Now that I think of, maybe I said the different star sign throughout the reading. Maybe I said Aries, maybe I said Taurus. I do apologize for that. The reading is meant for Gemini. That's called lapsus when you say one thing, but you mean another. And um, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description uh, down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And upon purchasing within 24 hours, I'm going to contact you um, explaining you how your reading is going to take, take place depending on the service you have purchased. And also, if you are, um, if you want to uh, start reading tarot cards by yourself, 
uh, and you like the way I do it, you want to learn to read the same way, I'm offering an online live tarot classes in six lectures for now, which are covering all the major arcana and uh, how to read them in uh, term of career, in term of relationship, what do they mean if they fall into negative position or in a positive position into spread. And in generally, I'm going to show you a spread that is a major arcana friendly uh, that you can use, use it only with major arcana and um, to know how to interpret them in any given situation. Uh, so hopefully um, you're going to stay safe now and uh, see you next time. Until then, bye.